Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Here's a quick guide showing you how to solo turn every single public event heroic and where to find them. Timestamps are in the description below. The reason behind this video is I always try to turn public events heroic and there's always someone who doesn't know how. It is amazing how many veteran players out there do not know how to turn a public event heroic and on top of this there are always new lights trying them out. Public events offer Glimmer, XP, Destination Material, the odd rare or legendary Engram, and they are a good distraction when doing tedious in-game tasks like bounty stacking. Each public event has a set task that upon completing it will turn it into heroic, which will increase the amount and quality of the end loot. So let's start off with the fallen public events and the most popular one, Glimmer Extraction. It can be found in the EDZ, Cosmodrome, Nessus and Europa. For this one, there will be three sites that will spawn these Glimmer rigs. Clearing out all the ads at each side will spawn the next one in and you can follow the fallen ship to the next location to get there early. To turn it heroic, at each side there will be a glimmer machine that you need to destroy. It will appear around the rig after clearing the first wave of ads. It has a lot of health so use your special or heavy weapons to quickly destroy them. If you don't do it in time, the next site will have two glimmer machines and if you miss those, then the final site will have three. Destroy each one with each side to make it easier and once you destroy all three glimmer machines, the rig will be destroyed, creating a pool of glimmer on the floor. You need to capture the point by simply standing in the circle. Multiple people do not speed up the process. Unlimited waves of ads will come after you, including a fallen mini boss. Killing it does not finish the event, so kill the ads and the mini boss whilst capturing a point until it reaches 100. Another fallen public event is Aether Resupply, which can be found in the EDZ, Nessus, the Moon and Europa. This one is one of the easiest to complete, as all you need to do is kill the big servitor boss to complete the event. Every so often he will teleport you into the sky, so wait a little bit until your feet are back on the ground. Turning it heroic is frustrating. After losing 25% health, a servitor spawns in protecting the boss, which you need to kill in order to continue damaging it. Once the boss hits 50% health, three servitors will spawn in. You need to kill all three of those servitors to turn it heroic. The frustrating part is when people lower the health past 50% too quickly, causing the servitors to spawn in and despawn after a few seconds. Once all three servitors are dead, the event will turn heroic and then you can kill the boss. The next fallen public event is Weapons Exchange, which can be found in the EDZ, Cosmodrome and the Moon. This one contains a walker. To kill the walker, you need to destroy one of the legs which causes it to extend its neck for a limited time, which is a crit spot. Most people just shoot the neck and kill it, skipping the challenge. To turn it heroic, each time you destroy one leg, three orbs will spawn by its head. There are three shields around the walker that contain Scorch Cannons, and on either side of each shield there are Arc Receivers. You need to dump an orb at each of the six Arc Receivers which will turn the event heroic by spawning in a second walker for you to kill. So destroy a leg, but don't damage the neck of a walker until all six orbs have been banged. The final public event is called Crux Convergence and is only found on Europa. To complete it, there are three bricks to kill and each one has a shield that is linked to one of the three Darkness Cruxes. Each Crux has a circle beneath it that you need to capture to remove one of the shields on one of the bricks. Destroying a brick spawns in the next Darkness Crux. To turn it heroic, there are three drones that fly slash get stuck on the side of a Darkness Crux. You need to kill them before capturing the Crux. AR, submachine guns and fusion rifles work great on them as they move around a lot. Make sure to check each face of a Darkness Crux for drones. There will be three drones for each Crux and if you miss any, then they will be added to the next Darkness Crux until you destroy them. Once all nine drones have been destroyed, a final boss brig will spawn in and to complete the event, you need to kill all the brigs. Moving on to Cabal Public Events, starting with Excavation, which is located in the EDZ and on Nessus. All you need to do is capture the Cabal Drill by standing in the circle until it reaches 100% before the timer runs out whilst defending it against multiple ways of ads. To turn it heroic, a fresher ship will spawn in once the capture point reaches between 30-34% to depending on your location. It will fly around and will briefly stop near the drill before flying off. You will need some ranged weapons to destroy it like RPGs, snipers and linears. If you miss out on it or don't destroy it in time, it will fly away and return for the last time at around the 60% mark. Destroying it spawns in a Cabal miniboss and killing the boss completes the heroic public event regardless of the capture percentage. Up next is Injection Rig which is also found in the EDZ and on Nessus. For this event, simply kill the yellow health bar scions and adds within the dome of the Injection Rig to complete the event. 
To turn it heroic, there are three tiers of exhaust vents on the rig itself, and you need to destroy one vent per tier. To do so, kill a yellow health bar scion and once you do, stay in the dome. You will begin getting scorched and it's very easy to die. Once the scorch begins, the vents on the top tier will open up, so choose a vent and destroy it. Once you see smoke come from the vent, it means it's been destroyed. Kill another scion which will open the middle section of vents and then kill another scion to open the bottom section of vents. For the bottom section, only one of the vents will be open, so run around it until you can find it. A heavy linear and sniper works best for these vents. Destroying three vents, one in each tier will spawn a cabal boss and defeating it will complete the heroic public event. Next up is the first of the hive public events called War Sat Down. This one can be found on the Cosmodrome and the Moon. To complete the public event, you need to capture the war site whilst defending it against multiple adds. To turn it heroic, there are three shriekers around you that you need to destroy, but they are closed and only open one at a time. To open them up, you need to begin capturing the war site, and at the 25% capture mark, two wizards will spawn. Killing them both will open the first shrieker which you need to kill. The next set of wizards spawn at 50% and the final two at 75%. Killing all six wizards and the three shriekers will spawn in a hive ogre boss and killing him will complete the heroic event regardless of what percentage the capture is on. Next we have Witch's Ritual which is found on the moon and Sarafoon's throne world. To complete it there are two wizards with shields that you need to kill. Within the area there are two hive plates that when stood upon take down the shields of the wizards. To turn it heroic, once you kill both of the wizards, two crystals with shields around them will spawn between the portal and the plates. Stand on one of the plates to remove one of the shields and then destroy the crystal. Doing the same on the second plate will spawn in the Hive boss and killing him will complete the heroic public event. Moving on we have a public event known as Disrupt Vex Construction, the only Vex public event in the game found on Nessus and Europa. For this one, simply protect the Spire against Vex sacrifices to complete the event. To turn it heroic, there are three white beams coming from a central Spire. Follow one of the beams to the end and a plate will appear. You will need to capture the plate whilst killing the adds around the spy to prevent any sacrifices. You will need to do this for all three plates. One plate for each beam. Once done, the event will be heroic. Two Cyclops will spawn around the spy, so take care of them and then look for the Vex spawn point. For the remainder of the event, there will be unlimited ways of adds spawning at a particular spawn point near the spire. Defend the spire until the timer runs out to complete it. Next up we have a Taken public event known as Taken Blight which is found in the EDZ and the Dreaming City. To complete the event destroy all the Blight domes whilst killing all the adds. This is yet another one which is very difficult to turn heroic when you have people who do not know what to do. To turn it heroic don't destroy the Blights. Instead step into the Blight domes to receive a buff called Blight Receding. It will last for 5 seconds and allows you to do damage to the central Blight up in the sky. Once the buff runs out, step into the Blight Dome again and step back out to do damage to the Blight in the sky. Keep going and damaging it as much as possible. If you don't destroy it, it will move to a new location with a new Blight Dome to collect the buff from. You have a max of 3 Blight Domes to destroy the main Blight. Fusion Rifles, Linears, RPGs and Snipers all do the most damage. Once the Blight is destroyed, a Taken boss will spawn and killing him completes the heroic public event. The final three public events are all Scorn, starting off with Rift Generator, found in the Dreaming City. For this, simply defend the Generator against Waves of Scorn. Among the Waves, you can kill Abominations which will drop an orb that you can use to heal the Generator with. To turn it heroic, at the end of each wave of adds, a Blight will spawn. Destroy all three Blights, one at the end of each of the three waves, and a final Blight will spawn above the Generator along with three Taken Wizards. You definitely want a long range weapon to help kill the adds in the spawn along with either a linear sniper or RPG to take the blights out with. Kill the three taken wizards and you will be sucked into the ascended realm where the final part of the public event takes place. In here there will be multiple taken wizards and a taken boss, not to mention scores of adds. The boss has a shield around him that needs to be taken down by killing all the taken wizards of which there are roughly a dozen. Once all the taken wizards are dead the boss will be open for attack. Next up is Aoife Ritual, found in the Dreaming City and Sourfoon's Throne World. Simply kill all the adds to complete it. To turn it heroic, there will be a destroyed servitor in the middle of a public event along with three Aoife generators around the area. In one of the generators, a chieftain will spawn and killing him will release Aoife from the generator he was next to. The Aoife needs to be destroyed before reaching the destroyed servitor in the middle. 
ARs, submachine guns, fusions, shotguns, even machine guns make short work of the ether. Once done, another chieftain was spawned by the next generator and so on for all three. There is some leniency in how much ether you need to destroy but aiming to destroying all of it is the best approach. Destroy all three clouds of ether and a final scorn boss will spawn in. He has a lot of health and likes to move around. RPGs, swords and fusions make quick work of him. The final public event is known as Resonant Splinter and is only found in a throne world. To complete it, stay on the splinter as it moves around the throne world. Along the way, kill the adds and take down crystals at each checkpoint to progress the splinter further. To turn it heroic, among the adds, certain enemies will drop an orb on the ground. Pick it up and throw it at the splinter with your trigger button. You will need to throw a total of 6 and the orbs will spawn randomly throughout the whole journey so keep a lookout for them. Doing so will spawn in additional scorn bosses at the end and killing them completes the heroic public event. And there you have it, that's how you turn every single public event heroic. Make sure to share amongst your friends and any new lights you might come across. Don't forget to like and subscribe to not miss out on future Destiny 2 guides. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.